The Electrolock self-restraining system utilises a double chamber profile. The rear chamber is for a standard push fit gasket and the front chamber is for the restraining function. A weld bead is applied to the spigot end of the pipe as part of the restraining mechanism. The jointing kits consist of a number of restraining plates to suit the relevant DN size, along with a rubber spacer, worm driver and a stainless steel clamp ring. A standard push fit gasket is used to create a leak tight seal. Ensure the socket profile is clean and free from any contamination or debris that may prevent the correct installation. Insert the push fit gasket into the rear chamber using a heart shaped insertion method. In larger DN sizes and to aid correct installation of the gasket, a two loop method may need to be adopted to aid the correct fitment of the gasket as demonstrated here. Once the gasket is fitted within the rear chamber socket profile, check that the gasket is seated correctly within the chamber and that no displacements or raised heel sections of the gasket are visible. Apply the supplied lubricant to the installed gasket once fitted in order to reduce friction and aid installation during the spigot insertion phase. Apply the supplied lubricant to the spigot end of the pipe, again to reduce friction and aid the jointing process. Proceed to offer the pipe spigot end to the receiving socket as part of the insertion phase. Proceed to increase insertion pressure by suitable means, i.e. winching tackle, digger bucket, etc. in order to compress the push fit gasket within the socket profile during insertion and subsequently to create a leak tight seal. Two socket windows for the restraining plate insertion can be found on the socket face in order for the restraining plates to be inserted around the full annulus of the joint. The restraining plates are inserted into the restraining chamber via one of the socket windows, inserting the plates both in left and right direction of the socket window until the full annulus of the joint is completely took up after which the rubber spacer can be inserted. When the joint is under incurred thrust loading, during site pressure testing and subsequently when in service, it is these plates that lock against the weld bead and prevent joint separation from taking place. The stainless steel clamp is the last item to be fitted. This is positioned behind the raised plate sections and tightened down by suitable means. Either manually with a worm driver or an electrical method can be used. For example, a portable electric screwdriver. The stainless steel clamp, once fitted around the full circumference of the joint, keeps the plates and rubber retainer in place. After full fitment, the pipe can be pulled back slightly to fully engage the restraining mechanism and deflection can be applied thereafter. Here the previously made joint is subjected to an unconstrained 25 bar hydrostatic test generating in the region of 1068 kilonewtons or the equivalent of 109 metric tons of force, demonstrating the effectiveness of the restraining mechanism.